Welcome back, welcome back. This is me, Wall Crawl, doing our All Achievements Hollow Knight guide, and we're working on God Home Pantheons with their bindings. We need one more binding to get in there and get ourselves another um, another mask, another lifeblood mask at the resting point. And so we're doing the nail binding here at the Pantheon of the Night. I think that's going to be easier than the charm binding of the Pantheon of the Sage. So let's go ahead and rotate to the charms that we most like for this. And I kind of ditch the nail, even Unbreakable Strength. I uh, go ahead and I lean into my Shaman Stone. I lean into my sp uh, Spell Twister. And then my Soul Catcher and Soul Eater. And basically one to two hits gets you, I think it's two. Every two hits you have, um, you have another blast you can use. So that's that's really good. Um, so let's do our nail binding and let's start it up. Now first is gonna be this um, crystal enraged crystal guardian. You're gonna rush into him. It's gonna feel weird that you don't have your, uh, whoa, that you don't have your, um, Quick slash available. Ouch, he got me. All right. I don't know why I'm doing that. So, dashing through him and hitting him with the uh, abyss shrieks is definitely the way to go on this guy. And uh, hopefully, you don't get hit by too much. You can heal back up and lost kin time. Now you're gonna really lean into um, to your uh, shade blasts. You still need to focus mostly on these um, on the balloons that appear. They're your top priority, but uh, also don't don't just wail on him. I mean, you try to just get a little ticky tack, like one two balloon. You know, I, I hardly ever get anything more than two hits on him. Okay, now I'm going to start doing some uh, sh uh, Shade Soul Blast on him, though. And what's good about it is the Shade Soul Blasts often hit him four more than one um, because it kind of brings him backward. Now, the negative thing about the Shade Soul is uh, a lot of times if he... Uh, he gets hit and he maybe staggers when that would be a good time to get a single heal in. You, uh, darn, I meant to do the Shade Blast. Um, you can't get your heal. Sorry, what I was saying, ow. Now I can't get a heal. Because it, it the, a Shade Soul Blast will hit him once and then it like hits him a second time. Uh, I thought he wouldn't reach me. He's definitely a pain. Ooh! I thought I was okay, and so I healed. But, uh... Okay. Alright. He, he is definitely not a favorite. And you probably could lean into uh, Shade Blast even more than what I did. Now, if you can get through them, you can basically use No Eyes as a refuel. So, if you need the soul or you need the healing, I wouldn't Great Slash her, and you would just return back to this safety point right here. Nothing can hit you at this point. Everything will fly harmlessly by. And then, I wouldn't really go after her unless I see her on screen. Like, she's too far away right now. So, she's too far away. Um, it's best to, like, there, I can see her feet. So, I can feel a little comfortable moving from my little home base and going after her. Now, I have all of my, um, I have all of my soul. So, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and do some great slashes and things like that. That'll hurt her a little bit more. I'm still not going to worry about shooting her with soul. I get it if you want to. 
been trying to, to work in uh, an abyss shriek or something like that. I personally just feel more comfortable um, and more in control of the character um, using my, my great slashes, my dash slashes and stuff. So she's, I don't know, I was going to say she's probably pretty close, but she may not be. There's not a ton of the ghosties in the um, arena just yet. It just takes a while, but it's not particularly a bad thing, no eyes, especially at this state of the game, is not that difficult in comparison. So this does give you an opportunity to heal and uh, get a little more comfortable for more of the next wave of the fight. Now she's got a lot of ghosties. Now I have to get hit. That's fun. Um, so she's, she's pretty close. The ghosties have jumped up significantly. Okay, be ready for an Abyss Shriek. If you can kind of stand at the edge of the flowers for the Traitor Lord, you can get your Abyss Shriek in and, um, and already hurt him. A step back and dash through. Step back, dash through. That's how you got to deal with him. And um, for... You can get shots in on him like that, but um, often I just feel more comfortable with this particular pattern. Now you do have to kind of get them to come over here. Um, and you have to lead them a, a bit. You know, I did it too much. All right. But you want him to be in the middle or you start to lose your ability to control where they're going to go. There we are. So you still have to step back too when they like do the ground pound that makes the thing come up because uh, a lot of times he'll like reset himself and um, and step forward a bit and that that they'll run into you. Now, if they just run into you, the good news is you only get hit for one, but still, it's it's a pain. One thing that is good is this death of his takes forever, so you can get like five heals in um, if, you, if you're quick on it, and of course you have the soul for it. All right, after the white defender, we're going to get ourselves a break. Still, the best place to go for healing is there in the corner, and he does these. Try to just like a hit, a step away, a hit, and then just keep working like that. I I do just release some uh, Shade Soul Blast. Chewbacca! And um, yeah, ooh, hit. So I hit him and just kind of step back a bit. I'm going to Abyss Shriek him. That was kind of nice of me to... I was just kind of lucky that I had that much space. I mean, just barely had a little place to be. All right, I'm going to... Nah, I tried to get him, but it didn't really work. Okay, you know he's going to pop out right here, so it's good to hit him with an Abyss Shriek. Anytime he is basically controlled by the mechanics of the fight, you, you want to take advantage of that, where you know he's going to appear or something like that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and heal... Don't let him uh, start to get ahead of me. I yikes. That was close again. So as he comes here, we know where he's going to be. All right, I'm going to go back and get myself a heal in. All right, so he's getting close to the end of his fight with his Aw Thunder. I know he doesn't really say that, but that's okay. And just just be satisfied with your one little hit. And uh, I think he's done. I'm going to really lay, lay into him some heals. Ooh, Abyss Shriek. I got two of those kind of... Uh. Okay, again, when he uh, goes into the ground, I'll warp through and be ready to hit him with uh, a couple of Abyss Shrieks. Now we got him! We did it! We did it! 
Okay, now you want to refuel up. If you wanted to switch charms, do it before you get the lifeblood. Um, because getting the lifeblood and then sitting on the bench takes them away. So I don't want to change charms. So I'm good to go. Got all my soul. And it's time to go. Hit him with an Abyss Shriek if possible. This guy is a pain until you can basically get get him to the ground once and then it's just not much of an issue anymore but uh look at him taking all my uh all my lifeblood away so all that was that was uh that i worked so hard for now that you've got him like this you can really lean into your uh your your uh spells Hit him with an Abyss Shriek. Three of them ought to pretty much get him down. But if you can just get to the side and shoot him once. And then, yeah, again, hit him. He, he will stay down forever. So hit him and Dream Nail. Hit him and Dream Nail. Hit him and get a heal in. You know, that's how it works. Just in, in until you uh, feel comfortable. And you have everything back. As hard as he is, he is a refuel for the rest of the fight. You may lose your masks to him, meaning your uh, your lifeblood masks, but if you don't, that's that's just a bonus. Now he's down on the ground for the count. He won't get back up. And do make sure you hit him periodically and in at least the other ones, because if he does get back up, it just stinks. You just have to do it all one more time. And it's not fun at all. All right. Finish him off. Send him packing. And uh, think of him as a refill. You just have to get through that first phase where you have to kind of lean into your nail more than have an opportunity to shoot him or stuff like that. All right. It's Markov. Now, if you get Markov trapped underneath those platforms, it's a really good um, idea to hit him with Abyss Shrieks. He is not a fan of Abyss Shrieks. Like this. I know I'm going to scoot away, but I'm going to come back in and get another one. It pushed him back through it. But sometimes, as you saw in the first two, he was trapped beneath it. And so it, it wasn't good for him. I'm going to blast him to the side. If you can catch him moving that direction, then... Um, it can, uh, it'll hit him twice, and that's super helpful. I'm gonna go ahead and get my great slashes out. And as soon as they start to come back in, a dash slash. There we go. Blast him. Blast you. All right. Now, I used a lot of soul on him, but Markoth is a freaking pain. And you want to get rid of him as much as, as possible. Now, as soon as that infection is about halfway down into him, you can you can uh, get a successful Dream Nail in. You can also get Abyss Shrieks when they do the bouncy bouncy up in the air. You can, if you can uh, time it right, you can uh, you can get a good good solid hit in him. I'm gonna do it again. All right, now I'm going to have to be dealing with two of these guys. Whenever they're both on the ground in one particular area, just unleashing your um, your Shade Soul Blast is a really good uh, option. Yikes. Okay, guys. All right, I killed him. That's fun. Ah. Okay, so they got me once. I'm going to try to get a heal in real quickly. Finding times to heal with these guys is a challenge. So that is one of the things to grow on with this fight is finding opportunities to get heals in because they don't present themselves very often. You have to make sure, and when they get staggered kind of like they are right now, um, and they're not moving at the same time in committing to their roll or their bouncy bounce. Um, 
it's a lot harder. I'm gonna shoot and uh, got oh I, I was kind of lost visual track of him. Goodbye. And I am gonna try to use him to get some soul back. I'm darn. Get some healing back is what I mean. All right, I'll have I'll have all my health I think at the end of this. So yeah, okay, I'm gonna even have all my soul, so that'll be good. Unless I just kill him with one or something. All right, I'm gonna finish him with my nail, so I have as much soul as possible. I don't know. I at the very end of this, I'm starting to struggle. I did pretty good in the actual fight itself, but then started a struggle at the end with just one guy. Sometimes it's like that. And uh, so much of Hollow Knight, to me at least, is not freaking out. If you can get your play yourself to a place where you don't freak out anymore, you're, you're in a lot better situation. That's a good time to use if you can jump up and hit him, dash through him, and uh, shade soul him as he goes back the other direction. That's... Um, can be really valuable because you know your spells are what's causing better damage so if you can get those in there's not a lot of times to hit him with a spell and when he staggers you can try to get an abyss shriek in on him but uh, otherwise this fight is just kind of a longer fight now at the very last phase when he does his smashy smashies and then he appears in the air above you you can um you you can definitely get an abyss shriek then but uh, he may not even appear up in the air so that's hard okay so just try to face him if you can stay on the oh my goodness if you can stay on the ground as i do not follow my own advice right as i tell you um it's a uh, it's probably best that way the things pass harmlessly. Stay kind of in the middle until you can kind of see what he's doing. It, it, you kind of have to get used to responding quickly because you do want to chase him. You have to chase him pretty quickly, but um, the middle is also your safest place. So, all right. I'll hold down my charge dash right in kind of where the two of them meet these two rows that's five six he'll do it somewhere between um he'll between six and uh ten a bis streak again bis streak again so that's what i had said earlier in the video if he appears up there you can just dodge one of the things that comes at you and try to a bis streak him and then, you know, continue from there. There's not nearly as many opportunities for that as uh, if he appears at the bottom. And you might just need to dash away um, as the things come at you. Dash away and just settle for some hits. Um, you could go ahead and soul, shade soul shoot him. But um, be aware of the, the little bit of pushback that it does to you in pushing you backward. And maybe hitting you into something. So, all right, now it's time for the pure vessel. I personally don't have a lot of opportunities to, um, to hit him additionally with soul. So I kind of just deal with the fight being significantly longer, uh, nail wise. Again, this is, uh, I could talk about this. I need to have a specific video just for him. But you go ahead and you jump away, and then you adjust to what his attack's going to be. And on that one, I typically don't uh, use a double jump. Darn, he got me. When you stagger him, you can get one hit in. Or one hit in. One uh, heal in. But see how I'm like, I'm already jumping away from him. And then adjusting to what he's going to do. If he parries, you can usually come back and get a second hit on him. Alright, gonna heal back up again. 
So I'm jumping and then deciding based on what I see him do. Because I don't have the time to react if I wait for him to appear. I personally don't. And that's when I started to do so much better on this fight. Is uh, when I started to go ahead and jump. It just feels really strange. Because, uh, because you know, you don't know what he's doing yet. And that's, that's not how I do other particular bosses. There are some times when just on the other side, I also can do an, oh, yee, and a, um, a desolate dive as you come into these instead of a, uh, typical hitting him with my nail, which I do in the other versions of the fight. Oh, he got me. All right, I'm going to try for just the one. Just continue. This certainly is taking longer, but we got this. We got this. It's also hard to uh, not do a double jump when he does that, that attack, but it does help. Didn't quite make it to him. All right, going to get another heal in. He's at the final phase. So that's good. I'm going to go ahead and desolate dive. That saved me from his uh, arm. I will hit him once and desolate dive into him. Had to dash through to escape that time. Okay, I'm going to heal up my dude. I am pogo pogo. Pow. And pogo desolate dive. Shoot him once. Dash through. Desolate dive. Dash through. Hit him. And he's done. He's done. So really trying to get this jump away and uh, flutter back is so often the technique for almost every single thing he does. When he makes the big orb, I dash to just the outside edge of it. And then I take one dash in, which sets you right by him. And then in this instance, I go ahead and do a desolate dive downward. And the iframes created should keep you safe from another smaller orb that appears uh, to hit you. But um, you do have to be aware of that. If you're fighting him and not using a desolate dive there and instead using your nail, which when you're not on the nail binding, I think works better, especially if you have quick slash um, equipped, then you should go ahead. What am I thinking? I'm losing my train of thought. Um, I, I don't know. Um, you dash away from that big orb. You're on the outside. You go in either a desolate dive to keep you safe or hitting him with the nail. Um, so I'm trying to think of any other things. I do try to desolate dive him when he does his big stretchy arm or something, whatever he pulls his cloak back and a thing goes at you. There's not a ton of times to use soul on him. You just kind of have to be okay with the fight being longer, getting your one heal in every time you stagger him. Okay, so we did it. We beat that um, that nail binding. Let's go get our reward, and uh, then that'll be it for this video. So we may not have to go and get our reward. It may just be better the next time we find it, but... Anyway, this time, this is glowing, and so hopefully the next time we go in, we will have our fourth mask. And I'll decide whether we're going to continue with these individual um, bindings or we're, whether we're going to jump into the Pantheon of Hallow Nest next. All right, thank you so much for following along. I'll see you all next time.